Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for the month of August 2021. Uh, we are going to just jump right in here, Capricorn, and we are going to see what is going on for you at this time. Uh, really interesting. You have the uh, crocodile showing up here in this first position. In Vedic astrology, uh, traditionally, uh, Capricorn was the crocodile. So uh, I am, and that popped into my head right away. So I feel for some of you, uh, this first row is saying you're kind of like coming into this month in a very strong position here. I feel like a lot of work. I mean, you're a Capricorn, so duh, but I feel like you'll be, you know, super busy uh, this month of August and doing a lot of, you know, it just looks like a very busy month, I would say to you here. And um, this is pretty good, Capricorn. Again, you start off with the uh, crocodile here. Crocodile can represent taking something from, you know, it could represent taking something from the water and bringing it onto the land, obviously. So I feel for some of you, it is like you are working. And I feel like I've said this to you in recent readings. Some of you, it's like you're in creation mode. It's kind of funny because you don't have a lot of creation cards here, but I do just intuitively feel that you're kind of like in this creation mode. It's more like plans into action mode is what I would say. But, you know, that I would say that creativity is included in that, of course. And But, uh, yeah, I feel like you're kind of creating new things. You have the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Eight of Swords here. I feel like you're, uh, like, there is a little bit of stuck energy here. And even we have Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Eight of Cups here. Needing to leave something uh, in the past, needing to walk away from something here, Capricorn. For some of you, I do feel like it's love here. And, you know, I do feel some of you could be having a hard time walking away from a love situation. For And, and this is maybe only for like one or two of you, <laughs> but I feel somebody out there needs to hear this. I feel like for some of you, it's kind of like you're in a situation where I, I don't even think you're with this person. For some of you, it kind of looks like you maybe uh, were dealing with a person who had another party, like a third party. I think you knew about it as well. And this person, it looks like a situation, even just intuitively, you know, I'm, I'm just going to tell you the story. I'm getting here, Capricorn. It's like you were with a person who had another party, but they claimed they were leaving. That's like what's popping into my head here. And I feel for some of you, whoever that person was chose to go back to that person. Now it's like someone it like wants to come back. It, I'm kind of kind of a grass is greener type situation. And uh, I feel like you still feel attached to this person, but you're like walking away. For others, I feel like you just, uh, like, you know, again, have already experienced a breakup, but there could still be some attachments to a past person here. I feel like the universe is like trying to say like, you are worth a lot more. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. You have the skunk spirit says know your worth. And I feel like it's saying you are worth way more than a situation that you left already or that has ended. So I feel like you need to realize that. But again, in this row, you have the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Eight of Swords here. Definitely a celebration coming in for you here. And again, another card that says know your worth. Six of Pentacles, it's kind of like he's giving Pentacles to only one person on this card. Uh, Six of Pentacles can represent equal give and take, but it can also represent only giving energy to a situation that gives energy back to you, right? So it's like if you're in a love situation here, I do feel for some of you, this is love, like I said, and it's a very, you know, I feel like maybe you were in an unbalanced situation. And I feel like if you're honest with yourself and you look at the situation you were in, it's very clear. You know, I feel like it's like you are clearly the one that had a lot more to offer. And I feel like you need to realize that. For others, I feel this is work related. And what I would say here in this first row is if you're struggling to potentially get a job or a new position, it's probably because you're worth more. Um, so I feel this first row here is kind of saying, that maybe you need to try to get something that's like a little bit harder or um, that could pay you more money. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, right? Uh, let's see here. You have the Page of Swords here. Uh, some of you could have been involved in a love situation involving children. You have the Six of Swords moving forward here from this situation. And the Queen of Swords here as well. Uh, Queen of Swords has her back to the past. So I feel intuitively, I, I feel like you know intuitively that it's time to walk away from a situation. Uh, for others, again, I feel like you're making, uh, it's kind of like 
whatever I said, I already forgot what I said at the beginning of reading, but I was saying something about uh, like putting your plans into action. And that's really what I feel uh, this whole entire, you know, outside of the whole love thing, I feel this first row is saying that you are putting your plans into action or you're taking action on some of your plans. And that would be a good idea for you here, Capricorn. Uh, I see a lot of results here at the end. Looks pretty good. Uh, in your next row here, you have the skunk spirit. So this card says, know your worth. Again, I feel that some of you were in a love situation where you were not getting your worth, uh, you know, because I feel like you were almost, um, you know, on this five of pentacles here, I feel that it's more saying that you were like overpaying for something and not financially necessarily. It could be part, that could be part of it, but I feel like it's more kind of like what you had to offer compared to what the other person had to offer. It's like the universe is trying to say like, hey, uh, I don't want you in an unbalanced situation. I want you to get into a balanced situation where there's equal give and take. So I feel for some of you, uh, you know, that's what you're walking away from here. Again, you have the Eight of Cups, Five of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. So like I said, I feel like you're walking away from an unbalanced situation. No doubt about it, Five of Pentacles. I feel like you could be feeling sad about walking away from a person. Um, but again, I feel like you know it's the right thing to do. Page of Cups, he's like dreaming. You know, I always say he's looking at that fish in the cup and he it, it's like that is something that he is imagining. You know, that is something that he is just picturing as being in that cup. But it might, you know, it's just his imagination. So it's like he's dreaming of something much better. He's dreaming of something that he wishes he could have. I feel like you need to go uh, towards some sort of wish or dream here, Capricorn, because I feel you will get it, whatever it is, doesn't matter. Let's see. You have the hangman. Yeah, I feel for a lot of you, a lot of delays. I get this like, you know, especially if this is a love situation, I feel like there was delay after delay after delay. It never really got off the ground. This seems like a stuck situation to me. Uh, you have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you were ready to move forward, I feel, but this other person wasn't. Yeah, Emperor and the Seven of Cups, your imagination, and not only that, a plan. For some of you, I feel you're totally switching your focus here as well. It's like you could just not be focusing on love at all and deciding to focus on, you know, executing a plan that you have because I was kind of getting that here, like I said at the beginning of your reading. Very straightforward reading <laughs> is what I would say to you, especially for the, just the month of August. And, um, you know, I, I always want to stress, people always say to me, does that mean I won't have love for August if I'm focusing on a plan? No. It just means that your focus might be on a plan. There, there's still plenty of time in your day where you could do other things, where you could go on dates, where you could you know, meet someone. But again, I feel the focus of this reading is you focusing on accomplishing something um, you know, that is a plan that you have had. And this plan could be to uh, do anything, could be to go to the gym, could be to start a business or to write a book, whatever, you know, whatever it is that you're doing doesn't really matter. But I feel like you're kind of like following a plan. Seven of Cups kind of says like everything, you know, outside of the plan is extra. Is it going to focus? I don't, I don't think so, but whatever. It's basically saying that everything you know, outside of the plan is extra. The emperor, he like just follows a plan. He just sticks to something and he makes it happen. So I, I would like make your plan happen here, uh, Capricorn. You have the uh, happiness card. So I feel like there's a lot of happiness obviously coming in for you. I feel like you will be happy uh, with this energy as well. Uh, you have the chariot, the six of wands and the two of pentacles. Uh, kind of like I said at the beginning of the reading, I get like a very heavy work vibe here. So it looks to me like a lot of you are going to be working very hard. I, the Two of Pentacles does say like make sure, and you know, especially in this row right here, Six of Pentacles as well, Five of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. To me, that would say, make sure you're working on the right things. You know, make sure you're working on things that actually produce results. Um, you know, because what I would say about that Five of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords here is it can be one of those things where you think, oh, um, you know, this activity, it's like on, let's just use YouTube as an example. This energy here could be like, oh, this type of video is going to do best. Sometimes I think we get our heart set on something like, especially in work where we're like, oh, this plan is going to work best and it doesn't. And then because of our heart is set on it, it's like we don't try anything else. So I feel like this is saying that, you know, the five of pentacles could be that, and just intuitively, I feel this, that something you're working on, it's like maybe your heart is set on it, but it might not be the right thing. Maybe it is, right? You're going to have to find out on your own. You're all different, you know? But what I would say here is don't, you know, don't uh, get too attached to one way of doing things and work or business. Pretty much comes from 
up for everyone uh, right now. And um, yeah, I just think we just, the universe wants us to be flexible. You have the, uh, again, chariot, six of wands, two of pentacles, major victory coming in for you here with that chariot and the six of wands being cheered on. So a lot of attention and success coming in for you here. I do feel some of you could be thinking about moving. The, the reason I say thinking about it <laughs> is because of that two of pentacles that just went flying away there, Capricorn. Uh, so the two, I, I feel like you're kind of like thinking about moving or maybe having a plan to move. I do feel that you are one of the signs where it's like uh, there are additional benefits to a move. I've been saying this to you for months because again, I just see it in you know, I feel it and I also see it in the astrology. So if you're moving literally to another place, I, I feel there could be additional benefits, meaning that maybe you move and maybe it's cheaper, better, maybe you get a better job that pays you more money and also you find love, right? That would be, that's like a win, 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 win type of situation. So I feel like if you're moving, that's the type of you know, win that you will be finding. Uh, but again, this doesn't have to be a literal move. This could be you changing jobs. Uh, that could be a move because it's like you're going from one place to another. Uh, you could be changing businesses. So if you're making any type of move, I, I feel that there are, you know, just intuitively, I feel that it's kind of like going to create a win, 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 win in your life, a bunch of wins. You can't be that, right? Capricorn. Yeah, you have the tower. Definitely could be a move. Um, the tower can just represent a move, and with the chariot, uh, that could be a move. Uh, you have the judgment card. Uh, to me, the judgment card in the tower is a significant wake-up call, a major revelation. Again, to me, the tower with the judgment card is probably one of the most powerful combinations in the tarot because it's much. It's not just a tower moment. It's a significant revelation. It's a you know very strong inner calling. So uh, again, I consider that to be a positive combination there, the tower and the judgment card, because um, to me, it's like, a, you know, you're awakening to something that is going to obviously make you very happy with the happiness card. I don't like this right here. Uh, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, going queen of swords, eight of swords, five of pentacles, nine of swords, chariot, tower, I mean, it's not terrible because, I mean, to me, that would be freedom. You know, people always like love to tell me how bad the tower is. I'm like, okay, great. Go curl up in a corner and cry. I don't, you know, I don't care, right, if you're one of those people. But what I would say here is it's like you have a choice. You can curl up in a corner and cry or you can uh, deal with the situation uh, with the tower. It's like, yeah, the top of the tower is falling, but it has to fall. It is weak and it is something that needs to be rebuilt in the first place. So to me, this could actually be freedom because it's like you're setting yourself free from the Eight of Swords with a tower moment. Might it be uncomfortable? Yes, but at the same time, you're gaining freedom. Uh, but it does kind of look to me like this is saying don't rush in making a decision here, uh, Capricorn. And I, I, uh, for some of you, it could be like a minor situation. I'm trying to think of a good example here as well that is like popping into my head. But I'm sure like, you know, I feel like this is saying don't jump to conclusions in any area of your life. It's like uh, for some of you, I feel that in, you know, I would say, especially if you're dealing with a lot of people with the seven of cups here and it's like you could have a lot of people that are telling you like what to do and that could make you um, feel like you need to make some rushed decisions. I feel like this is just saying slow slow the decision making down in the month of August. But other than that, I feel like there's going to be a major kind of revelation for you here. Empress, abundance, success, emperor and empress, divine counterparts. I feel like there's a significantly um, better connection coming in for you. If you are looking for love, there is new love coming in for you. But again, I feel like it's probably going to come through through a change, uh, a move, changing jobs, you know, any of those changes, that's probably where you're going to find your divine counterpart. I'm kind of surprised that the two of cups didn't show up here because uh, the, the reading itself, you know, it kind of gives me those vibes. I consider the two of cups to be a stepping stone. Uh, to me, it's like the step before you get true love, for example, but it doesn't have to just be love. It could also be like work or business. So I kind of get those vibes off this reading, mostly because of that skunk spirit says, know your worth. And, you know, usually um, when we get a card like this and a reading, it's kind of like the universe is... Uh, before we get the card, the universe maybe gave us a stepping stone, a situation that teaches us our worth, right? 
And I feel like you've been through a situation like that in the recent past year, Capricorn, whether it was at a job where you didn't get paid enough money, or maybe you were undervalued in a job or a business or a relationship where you were undervalued. Uh, that's kind of like the feeling I get this side. And now I feel like you're kind of having a major wake up call here. And it's almost like an, an awakening that you're having, having. And it's like you're understanding your worth. This is going to lead to you getting your worth, the Empress. Uh, you have the Three of Swords here. Yeah, like this energy seems to be uh, a significant energy for pretty much everyone at this time where it seems like everybody is making some sacrifices, which could lead to some sadness, but Three of Swords is temporary. Uh, you have the King of Cups. Could be a water sign coming in for you here. And the Six of Cups. I feel like some of you are having a hard time letting go of the past here. I feel like... Um, you know, again, if you're dealing with a person from the past Capricorn, it's like you could, I almost feel that you kind of would feel bad walking away from them. This is not going to be true for all of you, but for some of you. And I feel like you shouldn't, you know, put that on yourself, number one. And there's someone, I feel like there's a water sign coming in for you that's much better. Uh, for others, I feel that this is a gift from the universe. Uh, let's learn more about this here, Capricorn. And let's see, six of wands here. Major success coming in for you. You have the Hierophant marriage. So again, if you're meeting someone new, could be marrying them. And let's see here. And the Five of Pentacles again. I feel like some of you uh, could feel sad about like walking away from the past, but we talked about this already. You know, uh, I feel like it needs to happen. For others, I do feel weird about this. I feel like... Um, I feel like people are telling you things. Like, let's say you have a job here. I'm just gonna describe to you what I'm feeling here, Capricorn. Let's say you have a job, for example, and, and that you want to leave. I feel like you, there could be a lot of people, I'm, which I'm getting here for some reason, Seven of Cups. I feel like they're putting a lot of thoughts in your head, people around you, and, I've, and uh, this is not to say people can't help you and stuff like that, but what I'm feeling is that it's like you know that there's something you need to do. I feel like you've had a wake-up call or you've had some sort of revel major revelation, right, with this energy. And it's almost like you could have people in your life who are like saying, don't quit this job. Don't go get another job. But I feel like you know better. I feel like you need to listen to yourself is what this reading is saying. Kind of weird reading, but I like it as always with my readings. They're always weird, right? But uh, it looks good. I feel like a change is going to be very beneficial as well. Again, I feel like some of you it's like maybe you feel like you should be moving or traveling or doing something. I feel like you should do it with the tower card, especially if it's going to lead to a change because I feel like everything you want is going to be coming in for you. You have the happiness card, the empress, total abundance. Uh, you know, So it's like, you know, whatever this is is going to lead to a lot of abundance. But looks pretty good. So thank you for being here, Capricorn. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. Also, feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate the support. But thank you, Capricorn, and definitely enjoy your week.